Hello? Hey, Ian, my pal just went out. Yeah, man. My, my pal just went out then as well. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Um, have you spoken to Dom recently? Nah, man, but like, um, I'm going to his place tomorrow. Have you tried his mobile? Uh, yeah, I did. He didn't pick up. That's kind of weird. Tom always has his phone on, man. Yeah, that's kind of weird. I'm going to his place now. I'll check it out. I'll give you a call in a sec. Um, I'm going to call up Sam and see what's happening. Alright, see ya. Bye. Yo, dude, it's E-Man. Do you have power at the moment, dude? Yeah, everything's cool here. Yeah, me and Marcus just lost power. Really? That's weird. No, everything's good here, man. Oh, d dude, you jinxed me! <laughs> Lol. Fail. Yeah, alright. Okay, uh, me and Marcus are going to check out Dom's place, so, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll talk to you later. Alright, man, I'll sit tight and figure out a way to get the power back on. Alright. See ya. Okay, welcome back to The Romanen Files, episode number 27. Just heading down to Dom's house now because uh, I've lost power and haven't heard from him since I called his mobile. He didn't answer, so we're going down to his place to check it out, see if he has power. I'll uh, see you in a minute. I'm getting kind of freaked out now. Hello? Marcus? Hey, Marcus, wake up. Oh. You alright, man? Ian? Yeah. What are you doing here? Why, why are you sleeping here for? What the hell? I went to see if Dom had power and then... No, well, I, I, I just saw Dom outside before. Is that getting real weird? What? Yeah. It's... Oh, let's go get him. Yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go look for him then. Oh. And there's people chasing after us, and uh, we don't know what to do. What? Where are you guys? I don't know where we are, man. Tell me thinking that there are some people gathering outside my house. Man, what happened to your jacket? Oh, oh crap! Oh. 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 Hey, hey, you alright? Oh, I'm alright. Start going crazy until after the Black House. Hey, yeah, uh, maybe that's why they're acting this yeah, way. That's, that's possible, yeah. Mm. So we just have to 
or to stay here until the power goes back on, and then maybe it'll fix itself. What, what, what are you? What are you doing? I found it. Wait, you're you're actually prepared for this? Hey, shut up! All right. There's a lot of stuff on like um, surviving an attack and like homemade weapons that you can just find around the house. Well, we, we, let's get to it. They're gone! Hey, guys, the light. It's working. Hello? 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 What's going on, man? Yeah, no, I don't know. What are you doing? Remember anything that's just happened? Uh, I was sitting at home. I was watching the FA Cup and then the telly turned off. I don't remember anything after that. Anyway, hey, I, are you I serious? You, you don't remember anything? Welcome to Channel 5 News, I'm Alec McLaughlin. The government's latest plan to try and reduce carbon emissions has backfired horribly, with riots breaking out on the streets of Melbourne. The plan, which has been dubbed by the media as Earth Day, consisted of the entire city of Melbourne bioemergency services and hospitals having its power shut off completely. However, things did not go completely to plan. I was just watching the FA Cup on the TV and then, um, TV turned off. Don't really remember what happened after that. Seems that what the Prime Minister didn't realise was that Generation Y had become increasingly dependent on technology, and that Victoria's electricity grid had become a form of mental life source for them. So when Mr Rudd took that away, their minds began to starve, and once they were disconnected, we would all pay the price. It's in the dime for Channel 5 News. Thank you for that report, Tim. Channel 5 News, I'm Alec Good night.